Sadiq Khan should quit as London mayor because of the crime chaos engulfing the capital, the best friend of murdered teen Stephen Lawrence said today. Dwayne Brooks, who was with Stephen when he died, told the son Mr. Khan is weak and ineffective. And he demanded the mayor finally take responsibility for the increase in knife crime, sex attacks and assaults by motorbike gangs. Mr. Brooks, 43, spoke out after it emerged that 60 muggings a day are being carried out by thugs on mopeds. Blasting weak and ineffective Mr. Khan, he said he's failing miserably when it comes to crime. He's blaming the government, saying, it's cuts, it's this and that. If he can't do a better job, then he needs to resign. He's not the strong leader London needs. Mr. Brooks accused the mayor of scrapping performance targets which would allow Londoners to review how well he is doing in the job. And he dismissed claims that boosting police numbers would help curb violent crime, while defending Scotland Yard boss Grassida Dick. He said ultimately it's down to Mr. Khan, because Grassida does what he says. My son can't go to the park and play football, and if there's 2,000 more police in London, then that's not going to change that. Mr. Khan spends too much time attacking the government over issues such as Brexit instead of governing the capital, Mr. Brooks added. He said the first thing you need to do is show some leadership. His role isn't to take on the government, his job is to provide a safe and secure London. If Londoners don't feel safe, then they'll believe their leader has let them down. He needs to step down. Is it safe for London to have Sadiq Khan as mayor? I don't think so. A spokesman for the mayor said responsibility for the rise in violent crime across the whole UK lies with the current government who have slashed the Met's budget by £1 billion, which means thousands fewer police officers on our streets. The new Home Secretary must urgently give the police the funding they desperately need to do their job. Mr Brooks, a veteran at the gay campaigner and former councillor, recently joined the Tories and is tipped as a possible candidate to be the next mayor of London. New figures show that the Metropolitan Police has recorded 22,000 moped muggings over the past year, up 50% on the year before. Knife crime has risen by 22%, with large rises in the number of robberies and sex crimes too. This week comedian Michael McIntyre had his £15,000 watch stolen by a moped gang who threatened him with a knife and a hammer. Speaking to The Sun, former senior cop Brian Paddock blamed the crime wave on the demise of Bobby's on the beat. The ex-Scotland Yard commander, now a member of the House of Lords, said what has changed is the almost complete absence of uniformed officers, it gives confidence to criminals. He suggested that police are being distracted by wide-ranging probes into historical crimes such as celebrity sex offences. And he called on the government to plough more money into policing in order to reverse cuts to officer numbers.